Hey friends, so welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little date in the life. It is my son's birthday. So it's been a whirlwind of a week. Um, I mean, obviously there's still the COVID-19 coronavirus stuff going on and um, I feel like every day something's changed. I know you probably, all your schools are probably closed. Um, I know they're shutting down all businesses like, um, non-essential businesses so far my husband's still working but we really don't know how much longer because he actually works in um, hospitals <laughs> he does like construction work basically and there's a bunch of hospitals in our area that are being um, like new buildings being built and stuff so I'm kind of hoping he can at least continue working but also every time he goes out to work it's a risk to us we've been self quarantined for a little over a week now and um, First of all, I am so grateful we have a big yard and we have a pretty good sized house to quarantine in. The weather's been amazing this week, um, but due to that, I guess there's been a ton of people kind of in our surrounding area that are going to the beach and are going to like going out to hiking trails and like not social distancing. <laughs> like my friend, um, was showing pictures of like all of the beaches and he says it's like memorial day crowds i don't think he was there i think it was somebody else that was there which i'm also like well if you're showing pictures why are you doing there but the thing is like people need to stay home the longer people don't listen and don't think it's that big of a deal the longer we're going to have to do this and we survived our first week you know homeschooling quarantining sorry my hair is wet i just got out of the shower but i feel like you know, it's just like, it's going to continue to last if people don't just stop. So I'm trying really hard to be happy today. We had to cancel my son's birthday party because of all the stuff going on. So, but my girls are so sweet. Like they, um, we do have a couple gifts for him and we actually went out and bought like a trampoline shortly before quarantine started, which, you know, was his birthday present and also kind of for the rest of the kids, of course. And so... I'm trying really hard, but I'm having kind of a hard time. Um, you know, normally we have at least family come over, but long story short, everybody, um, my father-in-law and mother-in-law, uh, like she, her mom passed away, um, a few, like a couple weeks ago. So she's been like out of the area, which actually in an area that has more, um, coronavirus, cases and so she's not comfortable coming because you know I'm pregnant so I'm technically high risk and so she's you know and I mean they've everyone's been super respectful and like hey we're not going to come we're going to quarantine ourselves and yeah they're working from home now I think she's getting back today like this morning and um and then my other sister-in-law's same thing they've still been going into work so they just don't want to chance it and so it's hard because it's like I canceled the party obviously I had <laughs> Don't mind my kids, they're just being goofy. It's been one of those mornings. We got up, had biscuits and gravy. That's kind of our traditional birthday breakfast. And then, yeah, but anyway, so everyone's being really respectful and like self-quarantining and I feel really bad because I'm like, don't come. But then it's hard for me because you know, my oldest daughter's like, uh, why is nobody coming? Like er, people always come to our birthday parties and I'm just like trying not to cry because it's like, because of the situation. So sorry about that, I had to cut out because I had to go help kids with stuff and then lunch came and we made cupcakes and so now I'm back. So I wanted to finish my thought real quick. Um, we did do some preparing and I feel like most people I know were kind of like, well, not most people, but a lot of people that were like listening to like YouTubers and stuff saying like, hey, this is kind of looking a little serious. Started like in January, February, just like getting a little extra supplies here and there. And we've always been the kind of people to have like a little extra on hand just in case, cause we're out in the country and just in case of an earthquake, or uh, like any sort of natural disaster, it's good to have a little extra on hand. So we've been fairly prepared, but not like, I mean, we're not like super stocked up, but we have at least three weeks worth of like meals. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm trying my best to just make it a fun day. Um, we've been, you know, playing outside a lot since the weather's good. And yeah, so that's kind of been how it's been going so far for his birthday.
still likes to chew on everything. He wants the big brown one. He wants the brown one. Okay, we'll let him do it then. Give it yeah. Him. Give it to him. Sayla, can you get on the other side so I can get a picture? Okay, can you open Sayla, it? Sayla, help him. I can open it. Just roll it over and then he can open it. Or you could just get by the side. <laughs> Hit me up. I didn't ask you to unwrap Okay, it. now let Corbin it. finish the rest of it. <laughs> Sisters, they always want to help out. Rip the paper, Corbin, rip the paper. Open it. Open it. <laughs> Ooh. What is it? It's a T-ball set. All right. It's a T-ball set. Yeah? Does that look fun? <laughs> What's this? What's this? Do you want to open? Okay, Mia, let him go pick one. Corbin, pick another one. Pick any of these ones. You get three more ones. Oh yeah. Sayla does. Mia did have her have hers on, but can you help him pull it down? I decided she wanted to be more like a cowgirl. So. Huh? Mia, can you? Can you... She's Sayla... walking on it. Yeah, she's walking on it, so that's yeah, good. But she's okay. So I'm talking to my mom. She's on me. My... Look at that. What is that, Corbin? It's a basketball net for bath time. <laughs> Ooh, Corbin. Basketball for bath time. Hey, Corbin. All right, a couple more Which presents. One Which one next? Uh, no. And Holly wanted me to call so that I... Sayla, can stuff. you get out of the way? I'm trying to get pictures. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Corbin, come on. Mia, let him do it. <laughs> There's Coda. Sayla, oh. don't touch, please. Your first baseball glove. Oh, look at that. So, Corbin and me? Yeah. And the girls were so cute. This is a present from the girls. Hey, Corbin, Corbin, one more present. One more present. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Found a ball and a box with a picture of a ball on it. So I'm good. It's toys. Oh, thanks, girls. Wow, look at that. I've never seen those toys before. Yeah, he goes straight for the ball and gloves. Straight for the glove. We know what he likes. I can do this. So, it's been kind of a quiet birthday, but that's okay. We kind of knew it was going to be that way when we had to cancel due to all the craziness that's going on. I will say overall, I've seen a lot of positivity. I mean, um, 
I know there's a lot of like our school district is doing free lunches for in breakfast for any kids that oh, what is the word? Any kids like regardless of like income levels. So and the school so basically that's how they're keeping the paraprofessionals and the um, school bus drivers busy because they actually are delivering lunches like to basically all the bus stops so all you have to do is just sign up and tell them how many kids and it's like ages 1 through 18 so like any kids can get it so I mean I've been seeing a lot of good come out of this craziness and I'm gonna just choose to focus on that because it's like you kinda gotta or you're just not gonna make it and it's hard because I find myself going wildly between wanting to like absorb every piece of news or whatever about it just so that I'm aware and know what's going on to like turning off my phone and just existing and not worrying about it because it's so like in some ways like it makes me more anxious not to know or to know like a little bit but it also makes me anxious of course to know and to see the numbers because they just get really scary so I mean, I'm doing my best to be healthy. I'm trying to keep up with my vitamins and I've been starting to take airborne, which is like helping and, you know, I'm just trying to spend time with the kids and like do a little bit of a routine. Um, we'll see how this week goes with homeschool. I mean, I'm like, I'm doing maybe a hour in the morning, maybe 45 minutes, and then maybe like they'll do like an hour of ABC Mouse in the afternoon, just something kind of more educational, but like still like fun for them. So I'm kind of hoping they're still, like last week was fun, but they're already starting to miss their teachers. And actually this next week we have parent teacher conferences that the teachers are going to try to do over the phone and also on the, um, like video chat, but we haven't quite like worked all the kinks out there yet. So that's kind of nice because I feel like her teacher, both my girls' teachers are trying to be very like involved and make sure that they're like, you know, still connecting with the kids because it, it, like nobody, nobody expected this craziness. And I think the teachers are kind of reeling and trying to figure out how to like handle it too. So overall, I mean, today's been fun. I'm really tired and I think we're going to put on a movie. I kind of, we got Disney Plus. Because, you know, we're going to be in quarantine for a while, so might as well get some more entertainment. And so I'm really wanting to watch Toy Story because it's been, like, years and I want my kids to watch it. So we're hoping to find Toy Story on Disney+, Plus, or at least another fun movie, and then put them to bed. And then just, I'll probably be going to bed after that. So thank you guys for tagging along with us today. Sorry it was kind of a crazy vlog, and like I said, it was both busy and not busy day at the same time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.